Well, we are thrilled to have Dr. Jennifer Hartstein on our show today. She is in private practice in New York City. Uh, she treats a whole range of you know, children, adolescents, and families with do- lots of different psychological illnesses. She is an author. She's been on lots of different uh, TV programs, including the Dr. Oz Show and the, the Today Show. And for our Wellness Wisdom segment, we were wondering if you could tell us what is a good way to make the best of a situation that we have little control over? Like a pandemic. Like a pandemic. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, so I think I think the, the advice I give to most people is that we have to practice something that's called radical acceptance, right? And the, the idea of radical acceptance is, I mean, in its basic form is kind of wholly embracing something that you cannot change. So we've got to then figure out, right? I have to figure out then what, what can I do to change myself in that moment? I can't change the pandemic. I can't get out more. I can't see my friends more. I can't do all the things I want to do more. So if I want to suffer less, I have to get to a point of being able to say, okay, this is what it is in the truest, truest sense of the word, not in that sarcastic, obnoxious way we say it, but in the truest sense of the word, it is what it is and kind of sit in that. And once I can say that to myself and be like, okay, it is what it is. Then I can get to what can I do about it? Can I find joy in the small things? Can I connect with people, even if I can't be with them physically, you know, through Zoom, on a walk that's socially distanced, on a picnic that's socially distanced? Can I hug my family members more? Can I embrace the things I enjoy in the way that I can enjoy them the most while continuing to recognize that I don't like the situation that I'm in and there's literally nothing I can do about it. So we have to turn our minds to this idea of it is what it is could be temporary, we don't know. But if I can keep reminding myself of that, then I suffer less and it gives me more room and option to do more things, to help myself feel better, to find joy, to find happiness, to find a sense of stability. So I'm not miserable all the time. It's beautiful. Well, thanks so much, Jen, for joining us. And uh, this is Be Helpistic. <laughs>